Hey guys, it's Tony the Soy Sauce Assassin. A wise man once said, if you give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day. If you teach a man how to fish, he will run away. Every single day. Guys, welcome back to another episode of I am not here, so I'm recording something for ya. Yeah, that's right. Um, today is just another day that I'm not here. I, well, I anticipated that I'm not gonna be here, so I record ahead of time that if uh, I'm actually showed up, this episode will not air, and if uh, you know I didn't show up, this episode will air. So today we're going to smoke the Patagas. Anniversary 2015. Okay, and we're gonna pair it with some Coca Cola. Yes. Doesn't seem like top it off. Let's top it off some root beer, too. This could be a bad idea, but we'll find out. So, uh, just in case I want to tune my volume down just a little bit because it seemed like I was peaking at red and so just tune it down a little bit might be more pleasing to your ears not too bad actually so let's talk about this particular cigar right this cigar is the Patagas Anniversario 2015 uh, you can probably tell this cigar is quite old uh, you might not be able to buy it by now but I want to do this review for you that if you find someone that has it, you can choose whether or not to trade with them, right? The size is Robusto, and I believe the size is uh, five, by fi 5 by 50 maybe? I believe it's 5 by 50 This print is not that clear over here, so I can't really tell. So I'm going to say it's 5 by 50 and it's Robusto size, because it looks like Robusto to me. So... Let's rip this open. Let's finally open it up. That's what I usually do. I, I just do this so that the, the front opens up enough so the cigar will come out easier. Okay, so you know you can see this kind of yellowy, dusty bag now. So cello is old. Um, in terms of the wrapper, it is an African Cameroon wrapper. So it's very dark and uh, very... Uh, Shiny, oily. This is supposed to be a really toothy cigar, right? If you if you don't know what that is, uh, you'll see later when I light it up with the with the ash. Uh, it's a very toothy cigar. Uh, inside, I know is the filler is Dominican and Nicaraguan mix, okay? And then uh, we have a Habano Connecticut uh, binder, which makes this uh, understandably going to have some spice. Uh, to this flavor. Uh, in terms of the smell, there's not much of a smell other than that that you know tobaccoy, uh, leafy uh, smell to it, like you know typical cigar smell, but not particularly to any kind of uh, notes that's particular to a cigar, right? So let's cut this and light it up. Alright, the draw is not bad. <clears throat> dry draw. You just get a little bit of cedar, and that's all I got. <clears throat> a little bit of sweeter side of the cedar. That's all. That, that's all I got out of this. Um, just as a value, this cigar cost fifteen dollars when back in the days when when they were on sale. They, they sold in the box of tens. So they were fifteen dollars each, but then you had to buy five or ten. Did I forgot to fill this up? I'm just gonna crank this up and just let it finish up the rest of the routine in there. I might have to use another lighter. Just do this.
Okay. Right away, I got some earthiness to it. Like dirt. <laughs> um, followed by some sweet, cedary uh, flavor. And of course, there's, there's a little bit in the edge I need to touch up, but that ran out, so I'm just gonna touch up with this. It's good to have multiple lighters. You, you, you know, when you smoke a lot, you definitely want to have multiple lighters just in case. Yeah, so I just touch it up without much puff to it, and, and hopefully that will resolve the burn issue later on. I'm so glad I didn't decide to do another cigar today because I, while I'm recording right now, I just got a notification that someone is doing that exact cigar. <laughs> so, didn't cross over. Didn't cross over. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. All right. So, cleaning your palate up. Very, very earthy. Very, very earthy. Um, and the nose, you get cedar. You get some spice. Definitely some spice. Um, it's more of a chili kind of spice rather than pepper spice. So it lingers. It lingers on the nose. In terms of the strength, I think it's somewhere around medium. Somewhere around medium for this one. After notes, you can taste a little bit of cocoa. Yep, a lot. Uh, some cocoa. Or dark chocolate. A little bit of espresso on the nose. And yeah, earthiness and that spice. That spice going through your nose is it burns a little bit, it burns a little bit. But it's not like a black pepper burn, it's more like a chili pepper burn, so. But it's to be expected if you know, there's any habano in there whatsoever, so. Smoke output isn't bad. It's not bad at all, it, it goes out, it goes, it clings. So it, it, it's, it's not bad for of smoke output. Yeah, isn't bad. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go do some work, and I gotta smoke this down, and I'll see you guys in like a few minutes. Uh, and, and then we'll continue to talk about if the flavor changes, or whatnot. All right, I'm gonna go watch that video actually. So, there we go. Boom! Okay, I'm back. So I was watching Bob's Cigar Guy video while I'm smoking this. It did burn a little crack, but then, you know, it, it did burn okay. It continues to burn. Mm. So, I get a lot of cedar, a little bit of chocolate, and obviously the spice kind of died down a little bit. The draw is okay. Smoke output, as you can see, it's not bad at all. It's very consistent flavor. Uh, it goes in and out between coffee and cocoa, coffee and cocoa, coffee and cocoa. But it has that innate earthy bitterness to it. So there's a little bit of that. So if you like earthy stuff, you might like this a lot because it's, uh, it's got that earthiness throughout. All right. So the first third, mostly earthy, mostly uh, Coffee and cocoa going in and out. A little bit of the cedar at the nose. Yeah, the cedar is mostly from the retro hill. But I just from simply puffing on it, I have trouble picking out that cedar. Other than that, it's, it's just really enjoyable and burns well. As you can see, razor shot right there. So I'll continue to let this to burn and go down to the halfway point and now I'll, I'll remove the, uh, the bend. See if the the transition changes anything but you can see this burn is kind of weird it's just in the beginning though it kind of fixes itself automatically so it's actually pretty good it's pretty good so ash is uh, uh, pretty white now in my past experience this one is supposed to be really toothy but I don't see any of the marking for the toothiness so we'll see if this particular one is just happened to not be toothy at all and well, we'll see you in a couple minutes 
All right, guys. So now we're back. Uh, now I'm the last little bit. I went through the second, third. Not too much change. Very consistent. And then into the third, last third, the flavor kind of died down a little bit. The flavor kind of died down a little bit, but you still can get that earthiness. And uh, again, cedar, you have to go through Ratchet Hill to kind of pick it out because it's just not that pronounced in this one. Spice came back, so it's burning my nose. Uh, smoke output, as you can see, is, is great. It burns great. I dropped the cigar while I was smoking it earlier and literally did not go out. Burn still straight out, straight out. Okay, so the burn is very even. That means the construction is great. Uh, the the draw is great the whole time around. So basically, if you're looking for a spice bomb, earthy, uh, cocoa cigar, this is it. Uh, the the strength is just about medium. It didn't go any higher than that. I barely feel it, and um, it does get. It does burn a little hot, and the and the wrapper does get a little bit soft, like it gets squishy a little bit. And I can tell you that this is definitely not over humidified because when I got it, it was burning wonky, right? That means it's kind of dry. So it kind of recover a little bit during the burn, but but overall enjoyable cigar. Uh, the burn time just about an hour, hour a little bit. You get a lot of cocoa out of this, uh, but it's kind of like a mixture with that earthiness to it. So the flavor is it's not bad. There is a lingering aftertone that goes with your spit a little bit when you swallow. Kind of, uh, it's also just that earthiness, but it's bitter. Uh, it's not too bitter. It, it is this, so there's a hint of bitterness to it. So what I think about the cigar. Not bad, pretty good. Uh, the presentation is there for sure. Uh, compared to my first time smoking this cigar, the aged version, so this is aged uh, quite a while, it's sit there for a while. Uh, if you leave it sitting over there a little bit, the flavor does kind of merge a little bit, but I remember the first time when I smoked this thing, it's kind of toothy. And I remember the first time when I smoked this, uh, the, the cedar was more pronounced. So if you add an age, the cedar is less pronounced. So just, you know, if you don't like the cedar as much, you let it age a little bit more. If you uh, do like the cedar, you want to get a new, but chances are you can't get a new. So just expect this thing to be earthy, spice bomb, uh, and a lot of cocoa. Burn consistently, pretty good. Is it worth $15 though? Is it worth $15? Uh, I don't really think it worth $15 at this point if you can find it at all For eight to nine dollar even ten dollar. I think maybe it's worth it 15 is a little bit more expensive I feel like there's a lot of more a lot more better cigars at $15 than this, but it's worth a try. Okay, so yeah, if you um, If you like the cigar give it a try and and tell me what you think in the comments, right and for this particular video, if you did not catch the hints for the giveaway, you missed it already. It's there, you missed it already. Alright? So, uh, yeah. Enjoy your weekend and enjoy your, your time. I will be back very soon with you guys. and Hopefully we can talk about all kind of stuff again. Because I, I, I know that by now, I'm somewhere missing and thinking about you guys. So have a good one. I'll talk to you guys later. I'm going to finish this cigar. And... Um, Hopefully you're smoking something good too. See you later. Be saucy. Bye.